Uh, do you have another question? Things you can talk about your work in terms of with the private sector, trying to encourage more private sector companies to 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 become involved to in the to well, we've got the best of God. Maybe because actually no, but in terms of the the countries in Zambia, like the mining companies, so that they they, they actually look after their people, their staff. Yeah, you know, I think some of the countries really know that if they don't do much as well, there's no production for them as well. So I think it's imperative that we actually highlight this to all the companies to say, okay, look at your bottom line, but uh, if you don't have the people, who's going to do that for you? So I think it's very, very important. And, and some take it seriously, some, you know, get uh, laborers from outside. It, it's just said that you just see this thing, it's like a cycle, you know, uh, any company loves you when you're still well and fit and good, and if you're not, it's like a chewing gum, they spit you out and throw you away. So I think we have to really prevent such things. You to say we don't want those things to be happening. Um, I actually wanted to follow up on uh, what Tim was about to ask about. What are your thoughts on the state of the art industry or the music industry in, in South Africa? Uh, when you look at the young people who are now trying to walk in your footsteps and do have as much influence as you do, uh, what do you think of what they're doing? Well, I think it's very good, you know. Uh, people are not immortal, you know. People, I mean, things, music has to evolve. We, we, we had great people like the Miriam Akebas, the Dorothy Masukas, and uh, you had uh, the Ray Peerys, you know, and then you have uh, the Yvonne Chaka Chakas, and now you've got the young label okay, she's gone now, mm -hmm. and uh, you've got other people. I think we really have to encourage them, you know. I collaborate with young musicians. I work with my son, who's a producer, so I give him that platform, you know, to, to be able to air his views, to showcase his talent and things like that. I think it's very good. Obviously, we have to channel them and show them that it's not just about fame, fame, and just singing, singing. It's about responsibility. It's about um, uh, caring for your people as well. Obviously, not all of us uh, want to, to do things for others. You know, others are just happy to enrich ourselves, but others are quite mindful of, 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 of the state of our status and saying, uh, when you have the name, how, how, how can you better, better other people's lives? So I think it's very good that we have all those young musicians, but at least just show them the way as well, to say, once you've made a name for yourself, you can go out there and help those who don't have voices, because then we, have, we become our, their mouthpiece. So that's what I always say to all the young musicians, to say it's all good and well to be famous, but use your fame correctly and, 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 and use it positively. I think if you watch the concert, uh, I can't remember which artist it was that actually said that, that Mandela, when he met Mandela, that's what exactly what Mandela said to him was to, to use his voice and actually made him, it was um, Baba Ma, look at the concert, and he actually talked specifically about that point, about using your fame to make a difference, mm -hmm. and actually the musicians have more power in Africa than politicians, because people will listen to them far more than they would listen to a politician. Yeah, and it's all good and well as well, you know, to have that fame and be either Alicia Keys or Angelina Jolie and doing all those things. But I think it, it has to be genuine. You know, just don't do it for the cameras and say, I've done it and, and that's it, so what? Uh, you know, for me, it has become my everyday life to say, I know I can never change the world, but I would love to save, save, save the world or save one or two people's lives because uh, even one person dying, I think it's just too much, you know. So for me, it's like, yeah, whether there's cameras or no cameras, you have to do it. It's like a person who says, oh, okay, nobody sees me, I'm going to steal this, you know. So you, you have to be true to yourself every day, whether it's in the dark or it's in the light, and just do it correctly. Yeah. Any thoughts on the new leadership in South Africa? Well, um, yeah, things have to change, you know. You, 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 life goes on. Um, I'm very happy that I'm not a politician anyway. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, uh, we, we had a great leader. I mean, Madiba was a great leader. And I think Thabo Mbeki as well, you know. He had his heart correct, you know, for the whole of Africa and wanted to, 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 to make sure that Africa does things for themselves. And uh, yeah, we've got President Zuma. I think, I think really, um, it, it, it's we, ordinary people, and just people who, who breed uh, dictators. Because if you have a leader sitting in position for five years, he'll sit there comfortably and, and not think he has to do things correctly. 
And I think three, four years, it's good for a leader. And then you have other uh, 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 um, new management of leadership. So um, I'm happy that, you know, Tabombeki did his good and he did it very well. Obviously, there's problems here and there, you know, in any, any country. And, um, yeah, we've got a, a, another leader now, Jacob Zuma. And um, he says the right things, and I'm sure he will do the right things because he puts himself in people's shoes and he goes to those crossroads people. You see, um, people who are uh, middle class people or rich people can look well after themselves as well. They can go to America or go to England to go and get treatment. People who are down there need uh, good facilities, whether it's health education and things like that and those are the people we have to always uh, constantly fight for to 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 get to 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 to, to have things done correctly for them as well any other questions anybody okay. um, um when you were talking about aids and um getting down to the people do you think something culturally needs to change among Af african people for them to want to go get tested and want to, um, yeah, to want them to go get tested so they know their status? But yeah, it is cultural. It is, it, you know, sometimes we just hide behind our cultures mm -hmm. and things like that. And I think education is the most important thing because if mm -hmm. people are not educated, it's like, okay, it's like they're walking in the dark. Mm -hmm. But once people are educated and just to try and change the, the mindset of mm -hmm. our people, that people will be able to say, Yes, if I know that I'm staying in a rural area and my husband works in the urban area and he comes home after six months, obviously he will have somebody there, out mm -hmm. there. So if I know my husband has got three or four women that he's with and if he comes back home, if I can't take a stand and say, I'm going to use a condom or you have to use a condom. So we have to really empower those people, those women and those young girls to say, you know, yes, I know you probably depend on this person for, for a living, for money and, and your well-being. You have to take a good care of yourself as well. So they have to be very assertive and we have to empower them and say to them, put your foot down and say, I want us to use a condom or I want us to go and check both, both our status to see if we're both okay. So women are not able to do that because they're scared, you know, if I do that, I'll be thrown out of the house. I won't have a place to stay. I won't have food. My children will suffer and things like that. So they would rather just stay there and say, and everything is okay when it's not. Yeah. You know, 1828, the first song is called Umbambe. It's an eighth song. I work with Hashem Mthlopi. I don't know if you've heard of what Hashem Mthlopi. He's a, a, a traditional musician. Okay. So he's rapping there in Zulu, you know, it's, um, uh, once you have your partner, just hold on to him or to her, you know, uh, we see uh, AIDS is there and, you know, it's, it's like I'm saying to the, I'm not judging people, but I'm just saying, yes, AIDS is there because I really don't think it's good for us to judge anybody, you know, I'm saying, you know, AIDS is there and we, we have to be very mindful once you have, you have your partner, stay true to them. Hold on to them, and once you know that he or she is sick, don't run away. You know, just help him to 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 to, to recover and be and be healthy, and 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 just go with it because you know, uh, yeah, you've chosen him, you've chosen her. So that's that. And the second track is called Miminim Toto. Uh, it's it's uh, 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 let the children live. It's one of my songs that is dedicated to the children as a UNICEF uh, goodwill ambassador. You know, I'm talking about child soldiers, malaria, AIDS, about all the plights that children are, uh, are having. And I'm saying we as adults, we as people who can help them, you know, we have to be there for them. And um, there's one about women, the women empowerment as well. You know, what Bafas, what Tindifogodo, you know, it's one of the tracks. So, you know, all the, all the tracks there, um, most of them are, I send them in Zulu, you know, and one track is called Why? It's, it's a song of a woman who's just sitting there and, and, and always willing to do things for this man and this man is just going out doing all sorts of wrong things and you know, you know, uh, you just want to fly but he pulls you down every time. So you know, it's, 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 it's entertaining but still educating as well. <laughs>